Welcome to Huntington Bank Stadium, home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers, as we get set for what ought to be a terrific battle. We are in full-on stripe-out mode as the fans doing their part to try to distort the vision of the visitors. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Golden Gophers offense will get the first possession of the game. And here's the veteran, a guy who has been around and is ready to finish his final season with a bang. So nice to have guys like this that have been around the block, that know the offense inside and out. Guys I can trust. Leadership, play on the field, all the, all the boxes are checked. Yeah, because he's a leader, too, I think this is a guy the offense looks to to make plays early. So if I'm the quarterback, I'm calling this guy's number a lot early in this game to go make plays. Unloads to the wideout. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pressure coming. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. The Golden Gophers will send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin them deep. Fields the punt and tries to find an opening. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. So North Carolina's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. His third and long from the 45. Johnson wants to throw it. Looking deep down the right side. Oh, he can't hang on to the football. A big play sitting right there for the taking, and they can't get it done early in this one. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Using the spin move. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Here's the give off the left side. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on third down for this offense. This quarterback part of their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Golden Gophers will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. They'll start this drive at their own 48. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. 
And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They go to the ground. Makes one man miss. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now on third down after that run. They'll try to power their way ahead. The Tar Heels get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Takes the handoff. It's good. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback on the keeper. Got the first down. Looking for more. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. And the Tar Heels have this offense rolling. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. They'll line up for a second down play. Johnson looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Rush coming in hot, and they got him at the 29. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap, try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Trying to get to it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Third and long equals pass almost every single time. Pin your ears back and go get the quarterback. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. Everybody flying up field, putting pressure. Know the quarterback's going to hold it. Get to him. Strip, sack. You get the rock. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They'll give it to the back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He's going to pass. Caught behind the line. It's Taylor. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Now on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Brosmer coming after him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean, and sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Hauls it in, looking for space. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline, and the coach probably said, you dropped it? You didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, Dave. No, nah, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. you got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Feeling some heat. He'll pull it down. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. That's 
We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. The Tar Heels will snap it on first and ten. From the gun, they'll try the middle. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Takes a handoff. It's Barlow. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it. And they got him for the sack. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys into coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. And the Tar Heels line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Spencer. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Got three on first down at second and seven. Touch pass on the run. Right. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. The Golden Gophers will move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Guys, in basketball through the years, we've seen the Big Ten ACC Challenge, and it'll be fun to watch this one on the football field. I think this is going to be a real test of physicality. I know these are two conferences that... And he can't escape, and down he goes. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Getting some heat. And this defense goes back-to-back -back sack, Jack. And the Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Just needs a crack to get a return. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. One back in the backfield. He gets to carry. That midfield, he's got room. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. The back goes in motion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They make the stop at the 37, but not before he's got 10 yards and the first down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Now facing a third and long. They go to the draw. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. No good. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same.
Minnesota has it back and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Bully ball on third and short. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. The Golden Gophers will punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Hauls it in and looking upfield. They'll get down and put a stop for return at about the 28-yard line. They'll christen this drive from the 28-yard line. Wide out in motion. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Line getting set on second down. Johnson wants to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. They've got the screen set up. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there, and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block, it's Spencer. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He'll start this drive firing. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. Now the play fake. They're trying to get to him. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. This is a third and long. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll take it on the return. And the punt team able to swing him to the ground. Looking for a productive play on first down. Johnson wants to throw it. Fires to the big fella. As a tight end, if you're going to be good in the passing game, you've got to be able to feel the windows when defenses play zone coverage. And he did a really good job of that right there. He didn't rush. He didn't hurry. He took his time, found the soft spot, and gave his quarterback an easy place to throw the football. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. the gun wants to pass pressure coming and the ball's out and they're after it defense swarming on that loose ball it'll be a turnover as 
the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, it is hard to beat Minneapolis when that town is buzzing as it is today. And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial lead to talk about. But I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made its share of big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are gonna spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Huntington Bank Stadium. And the Golden Gophers will kick it away first and will start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He'll try to pop the draw. On the move at the 30. Can anyone catch him? That defense got gashed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. And, man, those are so frustrating for defenses because you're flying upfield, you're trying to get to the quarterback, and they slip that draw in there, and you can tell too many guys not doing their job created some space for the running back to make the big play down the field. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. Johnson looking to throw. Tight end finds a soft spot. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They'll have to get it to the 37 on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Goodness gracious. This is a master class. A clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game. Are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. The Tar Heels will Number try to nine. pin them back with the punt. Oh, my. He just shanked that one. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll check the spot. I think they'll have it right around the 40-yard line. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Second down. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. The Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Trying to make magic with his feet. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And the Golden Gophers are rolling down the field. Leaves it with the running back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give is to Taylor. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. Back to pass, it's Brosmer trying to get to it. Time running out, and 
and he goes down at the 34. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And it's sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. They'll play it safe and try for three. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. And it's right down the boulevard. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Toledo is up big right now. And what's shaping up to be a blowout those Rockets fans will remember for some time. They're up by 32 over the Coyotes. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating, man. you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Paul, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle, maybe that... And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Quarterbacks don't have high completion percentages from their backs. It's been really hard for this QB to get any kind of rhythm. We've got to change something up here. We've got to do something different, because right now it's just a sack point. And the Tar Heels will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. And when your defense is performing like this, pitching a shutout, you want to find a way to reward them and help them out a little bit, David. And I guess that's the upside for this offense. Their defense has been so good. But man, oh man, they've got to find something, Jesse, that they can hang their hat on, something they can do to move the football. It just feels like at this point, they kicked one more field goal and this is ball game because of how well their defense is playing. So I think offensively, just don't do anything stupid and give the game away. Fires to the right. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Golden Gophers send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And the offense takes the field ready to go back to work. Looking to go up top on first down. He finds his man. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? To the ground to try to pick up the first. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Taylor has it. And as they get him to the ground, clock running, looks as if time will expire here in the third. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. That's going to do it for the quarter, and Minnesota has the lead here. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. 
On third down, he drops to throw. Coming after him. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Touchdown, UNC! Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. What a shift in momentum. What a big-time play. He just took matters into his own hands. And what a mistake by the QB throwing the football. His receiver, obviously, they weren't on the same page at all, but the defender steps in front, makes the big play, and then every kid's dream, right? You play defense, you create the turnover, and then you take it all the way to the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good. Every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. They're out there to kick it off. The return team must rivet that ball to their rib cage. Can't afford another turnover. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Now they're going to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Taylor. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Feeling some heat. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the quarterback just couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger and get rid of the ball, and they knock it free. So let's give the secondary tons of credit, right, Reese? They were doing an outstanding job in the back end in coverage, not allowing any receivers open, and that's why the QB had to keep holding it and keep holding it. That allowed the pass rush to get to him, and that created the turnover. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. Johnson wants to throw it. Floats it out in space. Smashes through. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. They'll go back to the ground. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Getting some heat. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. Oh, uh, that's a play you just love to have back. It's third and one. You're trying to take a shot. You're trying to take advantage of man coverage. You've got to give your quarterback more time to get that ball out. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Well, that's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent now. Nice job by the special teams going out and executing in a big moment. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. 
He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Quick pass on the jet motion. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. It's a draw. At the 35, he's open. Hit the afterburners, kid. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Man, oh man, contact was optional. It was like the back was engaging in a lot of social distancing or something. That was way too easy. Defense is about funneling the ball to the unblocked defender. You could tell they didn't have a clue what was going on. They got to get the ball turned. You can't let him run north-south and try to get him downhill like that, especially with that kind of speed. What a dynamic play on that last one. Flips the field, and they've got it first and 10 from the 28. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Stands in and takes the hit. Broken up, incomplete, and nearly intercepted in the end zone. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Makes one man miss. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And the Golden Gophers are flying down the field. Red pass, it's complete. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. He'll do it himself. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And guys, if they can make their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth, and the stage will be set for a great finish. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Just like to see the quarterback have a clock going off in his head, forcing him to get rid of that football. Can't take a sack on first down and goal-to-go situation and move your offense backwards. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. A run for the quarterback. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third and goal coming up here. Now they'll try the right side. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. And look, obviously you would have loved to score a touchdown there, but you did the important thing. Kick to field goal, you're now within one possession. Can your defense get you the football back and can your offense drive the field and put it in the end zone? This is what you practice for. Let's see if they can go execute, fellas. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Coming out with it, it's Hamilton. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. No one I'm up by more than a field goal. Obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Good job running top and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Back to the ground with the running back. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. The Tar Heels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Finds a tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. 
looking for a physical attack from the gun. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. He's got it again. Tackle is made at the 33. It's about a five-yard pickup, and that'll be enough for a first down. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll try the run. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. That's a 20. He's got space. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And this guy is elite. There's a reason why he starts in this offense. You just saw the speed and the open field running ability on that last play. And this is a guy that is going to be key to the entire season for this offense. And out of all the plays you wanted to call in game one, this is the one. You wanted the victory formation, take a knee, you know this ball game's over. A disappointing start to this season as they open 0-1. Tough way to start, but you see it so many times throughout a season. People start slow, figure out who they are, get better as the season goes on, and your dream's still very much ahead of you. And the sky's not falling right now. You're just 0-1. There's no need to panic. You don't have to try and reinvent the wheel. What you got to do is go back. You got to watch the film. You got to be honest with yourselves. Where could you have made better plays? You got to limit the penalties. You got to limit mistakes. This team is talented. They've still got a lot to play for. So it'll be interesting to see how they come out next week. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.